or one of our Mac users is a little concerned about the protection of her data. If we go File and New and we start a brand new drawing using the default template, we can use all of the tools in GK+. We can go to Library, Plants, grab one of the symbols, insert it into this drawing like so. We could zoom in using the wheel of the mouse. We could put Polar on. We could choose the line tool and we could draw a line from here across there, 3,500 units or millimetres in this case long, right click and exit. If you look at the top, this is a drawing called No Name. So if we go File and Save, we get the opportunity to put the drawing where we want to. So let's call this one job two, and it will be filed in the 2019 folder as job two. I could have saved it wherever I wanted. Let's try a file and save as. And if I go up, can you see I've got three folders here of different years, but I could have put it in a drawings folder. I could put it pretty much anywhere we want. It's your choice where we put it. But our users are a little concerned about protecting her data. So currently, this drawing is sitting in 2009 as job two. If we go file and save it, let's, sorry, let's copy the drawing. We'll make some changes, so we'll copy this one. So clearly it's different to the first version of job two. We go file and save. There will be a drawing called job2.lcd, that's the drawing file proper, and the earlier version of job2 is now called job2.bak. So let's have a look at Finder and find that folder and have a look at it. And you see here's job1 lcd, job1 back, and there's job2, the one we just worked on, and job2 back. So that's the earlier version. This one is the current version. Let's minimize that. So GCAD Plus will look after the drawing. Whenever you do the save, it will copy your earlier one, overwrite that, and call that the backup file. So once you start working, we've got at least two drawings. The LCD file is your working file. The back file are earlier versions of it. If you forget to save, after 10 minutes, GCAD Plus will also save a file of the same name, but give it the suffix LC$. Let's have another look back in Finder, and here it is. And if we go to a folder called Drawings, can you see I've got a whole series of drawings. No names, LC$, Drawing 1, Base Plan, LC$. Just say, for the sake of argument, I wanted to look recall that base plan and use it again it was an automatic backup file saved at three o'clock today I would rename that I probably call it base plan recovered and I'd rename it LC dollar then I could open it up with GCAD plus so under normal circumstances there are three versions of the drawing that you're working on the the actual LC dollar file the GCAD plus file any backup files that are created when you use File and Save or Control S, but if you do nothing at all, there will always be uh, a, an auto save file that has that LC dollar extension. So I hope that reassures Mac users that you are being protected.